The latest government review into mathematics teaching, the Williams Report, recognises that parents are a child's first and most enduring educator. However, for a great deal of adults, the mere mention of the word maths strikes terror into their hearts. So, how do schools overcome teaching maths to the terrified? I'll say to the parents, who's frightened? And half the parents will put their hands up. It's quite interesting, there's something about maths where parents and adults generally don't like it and they feel that they're going to be made to look silly. That's what happens. So we've done a lot of work to get to know the parents and to bring them in. So I've termed it Maths for the Terrified. Wild Green has opened its doors to parents of Year 3 who, with some apprehension, join their children to learn multiplication side by side. When Wild Green looked at the challenge of improving standards in maths, they discovered a surprising statistic. We found it amazing that children actually are only in school for 14% of their lives. The rest of the time, the children are at home with their parents. So we felt we had a great need, really, to educate the parents in the ways that we are teaching our children maths at school so that they can support the children with their learning at home. I think that some of the parents are quite terrified of maths themselves, so the, the whole idea of the workshops is to get them over their fears um, and so they're more able to work with their children at home. First of all this morning, I'd like to ask you, and please be as open as possible, why you have come this morning? Why have you come this morning to our workshop? I'm Richie's grandma and I've come to encourage him in maths because I know he does like doing the maths. So any help I can give him, then I'm here to help. It's always awful at maths. Okay. I'm hoping my little girl isn't going to embarrass me. It's been a long time since I've been at school. So I just sort of, if I do help Richie, I sit and listen and try and understand the way he does it and then just encourage him to carry on. We get a huge number of parents who come into school whose own numerical ability, whose numerical skills, they feel are weak. They feel that they have got no confidence in the subject of maths and therefore they are concerned that they're going to pass on to their children that feeling that they can't do maths. Building the parents' confidence is a key to the children gaining confidence for themselves. Year three are invited to join today's special classmates. Good morning, um, girls and boys, mums and dads. It's lovely to have so many of you here. Um, we have a nice fun morning learning about some different strategies to do with uh, multiplication this morning. So if any of you are feeling a bit nervous about multiplication, after this workshop you won't. You'll know exactly what you're doing at home. I can guarantee it, OK? For most of these parents, when they were at school, it was a case of memorising your times table from a chalkboard. For children today, it's a whole process of finding and using the most appropriate technique to come to an answer. And you can see that from the array. So it doesn't matter which way you prefer to think about it. Um, it's important you can swap it round. OK? Um, so I think it's time you had a little go. The Williams report found general agreement that it was important to bring parents and carers up to date with current mathematics teaching methods. This certainly seems to be true at Wild Green. Like I said, it doesn't matter, you can do it either way. For three times five, I personally would have gone one group of five, two groups of five, three. That's fine, but it doesn't matter because you've still come to the same, the right answer. So it doesn't matter. So three times five or five times three, you get the same answer. The reason that we need to connect with the parents is that what happens with the children is that they go home and they have problems and that the parents then need to be able to support their children. The difference in learning that occurs, research I believe has shown that children learn 30% more if they're helped at home in a similar manner to how they're helped at school. So the question for us was, how do we connect? They're all highlighted in threes, and if we count along eight, then the, the one we land on will be the answer. How are you going to do that then? During the workshop, if I find that a parent needs some help with working with their child, I'll tend to go over and, and model to the child how to work through the problem with them as the parent's watching and then I can let the parent have a go themselves at, at following my techniques. Think about the methods that we've used this morning. Why don't you use a number line to, to do four lots of seven? 
Oh, OK. So do you know the answer to the next one? 26 times 3. Is this something that you can like, work with him at home to think? Work through him? Yeah. 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 When I'm doing the workshops, there's some real good high points when I see the children really enjoying the, the working with their parents. You can see the parents sort of clicking and thinking, oh, this is how I can work with my children at home. I would never have dreamt of doing timeses like this. I would have had coins on the table and all the apples out and stuff to do, do it in groups. So it's, it's just nice to follow the pattern on just to help at home. There's a lot of times that I'll be, she'll bring like homework home, especially maths, and you're trying to do that, but you're trying to do one way and Abby's trying to do it a different way. So it can get confusing for um, um, Abby, you say. So at least now I can see exactly how she's supposed to get to the answers. This is my son Callum. He's not really into maths, but when he sees me here doing it, he likes it as well. So yeah, I really enjoy it. Especially helping other kids as well. Having highlighted all those multiples, it's a way that you can work out a multiplication question. If you wanted to work out what seven times three is, you could just use your hundred square. OK, highlight the multiples of three and then all you need to do is count along seven of those multiples. So if I could just borrow Zach's here, he's highlighted the first few here. So all I need to do is, I've got my threes, my groups of threes, all I need to do now is count on seven times and I'll have worked out what seven times three is. OK, what's the next question? Twelve times three. Twelve times three. So and we, need to, we, we know that they're all three, so how many do we need to count? It is a challenge to get the parents to come to the workshops. Uh, we send them an invitation letter at the beginning of the term. We put the dates onto the school website. If the parents still haven't responded, then a phone call is made from the office to the parents, inviting them personally and reminding them that how important this is as part of their child's learning. Uh, just to let you know that on Thursday, Miss Gledhills has got a mass workshop. Um, you did have a letter about it a little while. We haven't had a reply. Right, OK, so it'll be your husband. OK, that's lovely. We'll see you then, then. Thank you. Bye. The initial connection with the parents is clearly very important. So when the parents come in and they work with their child in one of our workshops, it works brilliantly well. And I think it looks very impressive. The difference in what we're doing now is that the parents are coming in to a workshop and the parents then go home with four weeks homework, which I think is wonderful. And what then happens is that the children connect with their parents week on week. And that's what's causing the engagement with the children. And it's that teamwork between the parents and the child that's making a difference in learning and having real impact. Just at the end of the workshop, you get a really good, good positive feedback from the parents that they had a lot of fun and they really enjoyed it. It's a really good feeling. Five times three, yeah. With the workshop over and the parents gone, Lisa has a chance to reinforce the maths they learnt earlier. to the workshop we did with your mums and dads and think of some of the ways that we were doing multiplying. Can anybody remember any of those strategies we used? Luke? You double your four times table answer. And what will that give you? The answer for eight times table. You can use pictures. The picture way is to use an array. Okay, so you can use an array to show Yeah. Excellent. Can I have a volunteer at the front, please? Let's go with, we'll go with Myron, because she'll have us up first. And you come and stand at the front, you can play with me. Right, fingers, first of all, just turn to face them, you have to decide on a target times table. And just for now, Myron, we'll do our two times tables. Is that all right? I think what's really important at Wild Green is that we try as hard as we can to make maths fun. If the children are enjoying their lessons, they're more likely to learn and they, they just enjoy what they're doing. So as much and as often as I can, I try and get fun activities and games into my lessons. Then. What's two times four? Eight. Easy peasy. Have you got six and... The Williams report asks teachers to help make links between in-school and out-of-school mathematics. Not only are these games clearly a lot of fun, they're a great way of breaking the classroom boundaries and something the children can take home.
five, and we're going to do 20 times 30, and five 3, times... 3,000. Thank you very much. Use your fingers, Reds, please. Fantastic. What, what's that mean? How... Congratulations, well done. Two times two. You're all winners. Let's give yourselves a clap. Wild Green is clearly a forward-thinking school. This includes fully embracing the latest technology. Head teacher Peter Barnett regularly produces DVDs to communicate to the parents. We then put together packs that would go home with the parents and they're very practical. Part of the pack was a DVD which we made for the parents to show them the basic skills that they would need to support their children in this maths project. The parents go home and there's everything in the pack. And that again was resourced. It didn't cost much money, but we put money into it to make sure that it worked. Let's see what they've sent home for Stephen. OK, 100 square. You know the number of squares? Oh, we like this. That looks good. And what was on here then? Looking at resources that have been made available to us, there's a whole range and we can pick the one that best suits. The scheme that the school have selected is wholly inclusive. Uh, when I was at school I wasn't particularly good at maths, but working with this scheme and working with the tools that are available, I think there's something for everybody. If you're not particularly good at maths, there's a tool that will help you deliver and work closely with your child and really progress their learning. And I think it's a, it's a great thing. Right then, Stephen, what are we going to go with? Number square? Um, Getting the parents involved in the maths homework is helping to build independent learning. As the Williams report states, there is no need for parents to be left at the school gate. Clearly something that Wild Green has taken on with rigour and enthusiasm. The broad benefit for us with maths being done the way it is at uh, Stephen School is the fact that at home we can really reinforce what is going on within the school. So there's a, a unified approach. Between Going into school generates a, a lot of benefit in the sense that we feel closer to the school. We get to meet the teacher. We understand what the teacher's trying to achieve. Right then, Steve, we're going to play the game. Yeah. So I'll pick some cards and we'll see who wins, shall we? Me. Okay. Oh, right, OK then. OK, first one is seven, seven lots of ten. times? Yeah, seven, that's right. Seven lots means seven times, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 I got it right. So what would seven times ten be, do you think? 70. 70, OK. Well done. And you move on to a blue planet. Here we have a number of tools that are available to us to help Stephen get from A to B. And it's something that we can all understand, we can all become involved in and work with Stephen and achieve real results. Right, what's the answer then? 24. 24, well done. Yeah, you finished. Yeah. Good boy. You're the star. This is working. Um, the feedback we've got from parents has been actually phenomenal. To be honest, once you get started on it, you really do forget the parents are there. It's like just teaching in the classroom. And, um, and because you're getting feedback from the parents that they're really enjoying it, um, it gives you the momentum to carry on going. There really is no need to be frightened.